Okay, I've come back here to see if maybe you have returned. The rule is still there. If I cannot enter, perhaps you could tell the elder of the council that I request an audience. Glendon cannot speak. He only accepts to me. How can I prove that I am the representative? If you are a trusted friend of a council, I will then be glad to allow you. I will return uh. later. If hmm. See, I, I tried doing this other quest. Uh, I can't find the uh, tan land nest. Oh, I gotta help him with the family reunion. Meet with the natives. This may help. Let's go to the woods of San Mateus. I'm still trying to find how to uh, get into this council meeting and find the tan land nest. I think that quest may be bugged, but I don't know. I have been unable to find whatever nest that they're having you find. I believe you're supposed to burn it with a, uh, I'll talk to him later. Burn it with an alchemical mixture, but I'm not sure. I should compo compose my team of different people. Elemental coding. I think this is good for the moment. Now where is this forest? Let's get that loot. More than likely outside. Got some woods over here. Shouldn't have done that so close. Uh, Vasco needs a resuscitation card. That thing is a bit different. Must have been a cousin of the others. Got an intact heart. That can be sold. Some vile, vile leather. I'll take you. Fossil and amber. Another 
little thing I can sell. Oh, this is definitely not the right way. Maybe it is. Nope. Uh, I see. Can I disarm this and take it? Here we go. What a nice little uh trap detour. Where's please? I come I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy, but I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. We were told that there was a woman different from the other Enaixe amongst the Lugayan Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I'm in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. I think she is the one who came to our village to interrogate our mal about our rituals. We can't trust her. Before speaking, I'm pretty trust, trustworthy. Maybe you should tell me why you made me come here. Two nights ago, we attacked a group of red sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise Some brainwashing. the sun. This red sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us like the others. He had killed some of my brothers. So I killed him. If what you say is true, then indeed. We cannot let the Inquisitors continue, but because you killed them, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him, and also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free, but the Renaik say do, don't they? If it's the just a key. The ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of captives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No, but the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? Probably. So. You must do it, or the sons will keep burning our people. It is unbelievable to me that despite the arrest of Domitius, the Ordo Luminous is still acting in such a way. Very well. I will because they don't care. All they want to do is kill everybody Boy, and take over the land. May be dying in the okay, let's go search this house. How far we got to run so far back. Okay, let's do this. There we go. Let's just jump down. I'm glad it's actually not that far outside the city. Cause then... I don't really have to fast travel or anything. Should be close. There we go. You know how much 
I wanted to congratulate you for your work and your unwavering commitment to our conversion camp project. Yep. Thanks to you and your devotion, we were able to bring many savages to our delight. You will find new, some new elements and orders regarding the continuation of our operation in your chest at our headquarters. May the enlightened protect you. Yeah, that's um, something that actually did happen with the colonizers. They would uh, sometimes kidnap people and put them into conversion camps to force them into Christianity. It's a key. Most likely the key to a chest. With the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and... Hey, you. Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home? In his absence. I got a key. My status is the reason why the Mother Cardinal asked me to investigate. She wants to know where Father Claudius might have disappeared to. I offered to go to his home to see if I could find some information. Hence why I'm here. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? Because an outside Only investigation the is good. Of your superior, Father Demetrius, has something to do with it. Who can blame the Mother Cardinal for being distrustful? I well, uh, I'll nice. to your investigations. That's a good idea. I hope I don't see you again, Father. This man is a monster. Yeah, like go away, dude. Nobody needs you. Let's go search the office. Get out my way. We should make use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. There shouldn't be too many people left anyway, after what happened. Did I kill everybody there too? Somebody was pretty wealthy when they stashed that there. What goodies can we find in this place? Looks like it's already been ransacked. Torture stuff. Not surprising. Oh, uh, our search is downstairs. Can I jump? They should just let me jump over. Is this another door? Let's check inside. Oh, just takes me down. We hope that we can count on you to accept a new delivery of native heretics in our camp. We'd also like you to be in charge of the conversions of the most refractory native subjects. I recommend you to follow the most discreet path possible in order to meet us. The path that goes between the rocks to the east of the city and leads to the secluded glade where we built the camp as it is imperative that our operations may remain secret for now. Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. I hope they'll manage to free our brothers and sisters. Prisoners. Going to them is hot. Those people didn't care that I was in that place. Quite hilarious. Oh wait, what am I doing? Am 
I gotta go back outside the city. Is there more? Uh, because I gotta go back to the forest and talk to the the natives again and see what's up. I'm definitely not going the right way. Coins. I always gotta stay stocked up on some coin. You don't know when you're gonna find something good. Or, need to bribe somebody. Because it seems like bribing is a good way to get what you want in this game. They should just let me bribe everybody into just giving me whatever I want. went the wrong way again. Ooh. That startled me for no reason. I was not expecting a deer to just to be there and being all weird. I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? You're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed. We are. You? I have no commitment to your order. It is with Teleme that we are allied. Your nation, that you are prepared to drag into a war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting a few of them in your torture camp, even if you have to kill all the others. This camp is our only chance to ensure that the word of Saint Matthias is respected on this pagan island. You threw my brothers in jail cells, and now you would like to put an end to our work? Yep. You are nothing but servants of the insular demons, and you will pay for your blasphemies. Fine. You fight these monsters by your side, Onol Menawi. Bit of poison on my brain. Then let's go! Come on, I'll take you out Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. Let's see if you can ward off this fate. Ah, oh, that missed. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. Even though the Ordo Luminous's actions are atrocious, Teleme must not learn of our involvement in this matter. Our alliance could suffer. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. And we will make these bodies disappear. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. <laughs> Except for our mal, of course. <laughs> Probably gonna we feed them to some animals or whatever. Grateful to you for helping us. She might also have a better opinion of us. Our last encounter was a bit tense. You first came in the name of the Moin Shakers. But she'll change her tone after what you've just done. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Good, because that's, when I, that's meantime, what I want to do. Vertir to mud on all Menawi. And thanks again. Okay, let's see. I don't think that helped us talk to the council people. Hmm. Find out what is hidden under the palace in San Mateus. That may help.
Let's go check this out. Since we are still in San Mateus, wouldn't be uh, uh shouldn't take too long. And maybe we'll find something good. way. Downstairs. Which door takes me downstairs? Looks like this one. Yes, pick the right door. Yeah, just stand there. Something interesting over here. It seems that someone forgot their earring. Talking. What's more, she does so quite regularly. How does she manage to give it all back? Ooh, it's candy cane. This sweet person must be doing her huge favors to get these sums. Let's rummage around some more. We may find something else. Where else is there anything? A bottle. Oh, for goodness sake. This room reeks of alcohol. Yeah, people are getting drunk. Question the money lender. Okay, time to go back upstairs. these freaking barrels what is in here nice A health potion oh I got to question some prostitutes okay this is going to be a lot of fun. Are they out at this time of day? Probably. Yep, not what I meant to do. Enlightened bless you. You're a noble.
Oh, here's one of them. Maybe not. Can I get you anything? I'm here for something else. Can I ask you a couple of questions? If you wish. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about a certain candy cane? Candy cane? Everyone speaks about him or has heard of him, but no one really knows him. Oh, he's quick to talk. About him? Here, nothing. You need to go downstairs for that sort of thing. To the games room and the brothel? Yes, that's more the kind of place where they'd talk about him. Let's see what he says about his big clients. You sometimes deliver goods to your big clients. Isn't that right? Of course. The rich don't like to get drunk among mere mortals. And have you ever supplied anyone from the palace? Yes, that has happened. It suits them. And who places these orders? Well, a steward, of course. Don't you know how things work? A woman? <coughs> in a long green cloak? No, the steward is more discreet. On the other hand, the person in the big... You may be out about the coffin. The steward speaks to her sometimes. They know each other or work together. Let's see what he says Do you about think the, that cardinal. the cardinal. May have been here. <laughs> Are you drunk or something? I have to go. I will leave you to your work. <coughs> okay. Time to go downstairs. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously. Even though I would prefer it wasn't the case. He's a sort of... organizer. He captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena. How is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. Oh no. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Do you know where I could find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. I asked about the mother, mother, mother as well. To place bets. <laughs> the mother cardinal, and why not Saint Matthias himself while you're at it? Okay. I must be going. Next time, then. Ah, uh, where do we need to go? Still got a, a question for the this eyes, person. Eh? So. Have you found what you were looking for? Let's just say that I'm gathering information. My treasures are worth their price. I promise you that you will get your money's worth. For you, I'm sure we can make a special arrangement. <coughs> Here you are. Thank you, my lady. I'll let you take your pick. Thank you. Oh, my bad again. I'm trying to smoke some tobacco. Okay, yeah, it was just easier to pay. Look, a new face. Oh, but wouldn't that be... Hello, father. Who's talking? We would like to know if you know who this earring belongs to. Is it maybe yours? Absolutely not. I am careful not to leave my belongings with clients, and I have no desire to answer your questions. That doesn't fall within my services. Very well. And Goodbye. She has that right. There are too many of you for me alone, my little lambs. <coughs> Well, wow. but we are here to ask other favors of you. This question might seem a little surprising, but do you know who this earring might belong to? Why? It's mine. I, I 
lost it when. Ooh, you, you lost it when. Are you sure you want to broach that subject here? You're right. Come with me. Well, what do you want? Why are you giving me back my earring? You know where we found it, don't you? Obviously. I realized as soon as I got back that I'd lost it. I imagine your pimp does not know that you take part in these parties. He doesn't dabble in this at all. No, do not say anything to him. I beg you. Uh -oh. He's on my case enough as it is. Then I suggest you answer my questions. What would you like to know? Find out about the Do organizer. Who organizes these parties? Not really, no. A steward pays me when I go, but I don't see anyone else apart from the clients. You can't even give me a single name? No. If the cardinal is uh, organizing these uh, parties, that'd be interesting. always wearing a green coat. She never takes part in the festivities, but the steward rushes over whenever she arrives. Do you think that an important person from Teleme could have partaken in these soirees? You're thinking of Mother Cardinal, aren't you? You lot really think we are a bunch of degenerates. Sorry, Father, I don't know the Mother Cardinal, but I strongly doubt she dabbles in the. I don't have a trace in my group, so when it's his turn to talk. <laughs> In this scene, what a he's silent. Ask about the party goers. Could you tell us who you saw at the parties? Rich people, or better. They seemed very rich and important to me, but I don't know them. Do you know someone who goes by the name of Candy Cane? Everyone does. He is a powerful person, so his name makes the rounds. Have you ever spotted him at these pleasure parties? In all honesty, I wouldn't even be able to recognize him. I've heard his name before, but that's all. Camera seems to be messing up a lot. Admit it. You must know more than you're letting on. It's virtually impossible not to recognize someone while being so close to these influential people. Wouldn't you agree? Well... I was yes, able to it worked. recognize someone once. Even with a mask on, I'm good at recognizing my clients. Please continue. I'm all ears. I don't want to implicate anyone, but he is of no real importance, and you've probably never even heard of him. It's the local moneylender. But I didn't mention anything to you, huh? This stays between us. I don't even remember the subject of this conversation anymore. Okay, let's talk about the woman this in the green woman coat. In the green coat. Could you tell me about her? She always hides her face and never joins us. Then she disappears into a little office and locks the door. I see. She is quite important then. Thank you for your help. Be sure not to mention this to anyone. I'd lose my clients if they suspected me of speaking about them, you know. No problem. We'll be quiet. <coughs> okay, I gotta end this video here. We'll start part two, pretty much. Questioning the innkeeper. Peace out, everybody.